So Cal, firstly, a huge welcome to the matchroom boxing team. You must be buzzing and can't wait to get going, I expect. Yeah, I'm over the moon. Um, I finally signed and it's all done and dusted and can't wait to get going on July 7th. Well, what was it that made you pick matchroom? Well, Eddie, obviously, he offered me a deal that, you know, that was a great deal. And he's a man, along with matchroom at the moment, they're taking over boxing, so I had to go with the best. Um, Eddie Hearn has said he wants you to be nice and busy. Does this add a bit of pressure on you? You know, because you can't probably can't afford to have a loss in your first few fights. No, no, no. Um, if there's pressure, I love pressure, but there's no pressure. Um, I'm, I'm happy that I'm going to be busy in the first half uh, from July to December, and um, we'll take it from there. But I love being busy. I'm used to it in the amateurs, so. Um, I'm happy to be busy. I mean, uh, you're, you're on the bill for the um, July 7th outing on the Kelbrook undercard. Um, and Eddie Hearn has said again that he, you know, he wants a big build-up and he wants a big first performance from you. Um, yeah. you know, do, do you worry that you could underwhelm or uh, have you got it fully in control? No, no. Um, I just, as long as I train hard and do what I do in the gym and uh, on the road, then I should be fine. I'm sure that Eddie will get a great performance out of me. So. Um, you said on Twitter, I believe yesterday it was, that you're going to be fighting at bantamweight. Um, are you going to stay at that or are you going to hopefully move up you know, as you progress? I haven't thought about that and that's something obviously I speak to with my team as, and that is um, as my career progresses. Um, but I'm happy at bantamweight, it's not a struggle, um, it's easy to make so I'm happy, I'm happy, at, I'm happy being there at the moment and for the near distant future. I mean, how, how far do you think you can go in, in that weight class? You, you know, are you a potential world champion I'm tra talking to? Definitely. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't assign, I wouldn't turn professional if I didn't think I'd be a world champion and go all the way. Um, that's what I'm looking to do and I'll, look, I'll be looking to do it obviously fairly quicker than a lot of the guys in other weights. And uh, where do you hope to see yourself in 12 months' time? we will see what Eddie has in store for me, but um, we'll be looking at stuff, things like British titles, I think. Um, and then take it from there. And obviously you've been on the um, GB squad, was that part of the podium squad you were part of? Yeah, yeah, I was on the podium uh, squad for five years, and I was on the development squad for two years before that, so I was, on the, I was, I was involved with GB for a very long time, and um, I had a very successful career with them. Um, I had a huge amateur pedigree, and you know, I thank them as well for everything, for, for getting me in this uh, position now. I mean, um, the, 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 obviously you said you know, you're part of the GB squad. Are you still going to be rooting for them and your mates at the Olympics? Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, you know, all, all of them are my mates, so um, I'll be rooting for them. And we, don't, you can't forget that I'll be rooting for the girls as well, because we've also got women boxing, so um, hopefully they all do well. And uh, talking about how well they'll do, tell me, who, who are the potential medalists and, and, and who should we keep an eye on? I've been asked this so many times, but there's just, you know, all, all of them are capable of meddling. Um, got a very strong team, and they've all got the potential to go all the way. Um, so <laughs> I can't really say. How diplomatic of you! <laughs> well, great to have you as part of the matching team, and uh, congratulations. Thank you.